Reese Woods from First National. Tell us a bit about yourself. When did you start in real estate and, and, and talk Mate, about that? I started six years ago. Yeah. Um, and, and worked with a company for, for five years. Mm -hmm. um, since made the move to First National, not really looking back, it's mm -hmm. sort of been the best move and then partnering up with you guys as well. It's been sort of really substantial for the business. Like I yeah. do sort of see a massive growth from where I was before to where I am now. And I think partnering with you guys has, has helped, you know, considerably. And, and I guess just that transition from being a, an assistant agent to a sole agent. Talk about really, that. Yeah. What, what, what happened there? So you, is, is this your first year out on your own? Yeah, first year out on my own. Okay. Um, and then sort of managing the, the entirety for yourself is a bit, bit different than being mm. an assistant agent where you do all the paperwork yourself and everything. So I've employed an assistant mm -hmm. as well to give me more hands-on time in front of a client instead Excellent. of in front of the office. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess that's where you guys have really come come and been involved in the same processes, freeing up my time where you guys are out doing the calls and, mm -hmm. and sort of speaking with our client base at a consistent basis, mm -hmm. you know, once or twice a month where we've got our consistent call blocks and, and going through that, really freeing up my time mm -hmm. to be making the important calls where mm. you're in front of your clients, your buyers, your sellers, yeah, sure. and your new properties up and coming. So it's just given that transition from an assisting agent to a to a lead agent, mm -hmm. that freedom to actually drill down and focus on where you need to put the focus. Excellent. And um, so I mean, obviously you've got an assistant, you use us to do some prospecting on the side. Is that what your team, like what's your structure and your team look like? Is it you, yeah, so your lead? We've got myself as a lead agent, sort yep. of running the sales team effectively. Yep. Um, the two principals are selling principals, mm -hmm. but more assisting principals. So mm -hmm. if we need assistance in open homes and things like that, if we've got too many on, yep. um, they're there for lead support as well. Mm -hmm. Whereas my assistant's more admin, Based, yeah, sure. Um, sort of making the paperwork go through it, make sure everything, the processes, she's really quite fantastic with the processes, mm -hmm. making sure that the I's are dotted, T's are crossed, mm -hmm. while sort of we're back out in the, out in the, the field, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about any numbers or anything that you've achieved that you're really, you know, that you've achieved this year? Yeah, so I think from February till what are we now, December 4th? Yep. Um, I think we've hit 26 sales. Excellent. Um, so, you know, probably fantastic first year. And mm -hmm. I think, you know, 20, 25% of those have really come from K2X. It's been really, been really good to work from. Yeah, look, it's been really good. So just the consistency in mm -hmm. doing it, you know, having your chop and change process doesn't really work. You've actually got to have a procedure and a marketing procedure in place where mm -hmm. it does sort of go, I know that this week K2X is calling, so I've got appraisals this week and the week following. Mm -hmm. So you just know new appraisals are coming in and touching back with old clients is still going to happen even when you're out in the field, yeah. really important. Excellent. So we've done a couple of campaigns for you, we've called your CRM, we've called RP Data. Um, I mean, which campaigns do you feel probably work best for you in your situation and what would help another agent? Um, yeah, so like realistically, I, I think if I was to do it again from yeah. the very start, I'd still do it the same way. I think mm -hmm. the RP Data system first mm -hmm. is really important to get that then for first lead base into your CRM and then it's important and crucial to put those calls into your CRM mm -hmm. and then so have it as a smooth database and mm -hmm. then you've got that next touch point again. Hi, it's Kalen from mm -hmm. Reese's office. This is how we're going to do it. I think that's just really worked in the transition to go from starting a new database from a new office Mm -hmm. from an old agency to a new office mm -hmm. you don't have that database and that strength straight away yep. so then it's good to start that fresh and even if you're an ex existing agent with 20 years experience it's good to hit the base again the rp data purely for the fact people move every year mm -hmm. and it's just you don't get everyone whereas if you touch it in and like we'll probably do a, another rp data call list start of next year yep. just to get new people in mm -hmm because it doesn't always update for us on our system. Yeah, sure, sure. So I think, you know, the realistic point of it, I think both have really worked, but your CRM has been probably the best hit because mm -hmm. it's warm data. Mm -hmm. They know who we are. It's Reese from First National. Mm -hmm. How are you going? Yeah, you know, yeah, It's that sort of short combo. That's great, yeah. And, that, and that's how you set up. You did it really smart. So it was like calling through RP Data, growing a database for you first, once we exhausted that, we went and started calling your CRM, and that's probably where you saw a lot more return, I'm guessing, and, yeah. and you know, those listings that are popping off that you equated to the 25%. Um, next year, what's it look like for you? What are you thinking of doing? What's the plans, yeah, so the goals? Realistically, if we've done 26 this year, mm. excuse me, the goal, the goal really is 52, so to double Great. it. Um, look, I'll probably close two or three more deals in December. Great. Um, so if we get to 29, 
than the Goals 58. So, Excellent. And it's scalable for where we are and what we've done. Mm -hmm. And we know what works with you mm -hmm. at K2X. It's sort of the systems work, so mm -hmm. we'll just keep it in place. Great. Great. Cool. Well, I mean, if there was... Um, I mean, look, I mean, you're pretty much done everything now, but I mean, like, essentially, I like to ask this question at the end, right? Yeah. If someone's sitting on the fence thinking about using K2X, what would you say to them? Mad not to. It's yeah. going to cost you money not to. Realistically, you can spend whatever the amount is with K2X and you may not get a result the first time around, but if you consistently use the system and the process, the, the outcome outweighs the, the expense. Cool. Excellent. Thank you, brother. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it.